Simulated here. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Today we're going ahead and playing the Not So Berry Challenge for the Green Generation Part 8. So as you can see, we are over here taking a little selfie with our mom. She invited us out to the bar to go ahead and enter a talent showcase. So I guess we're going to go ahead and do just that. Let's go ahead and join on oh no, an open mic night so she is very very pregnant she's about to give birth at any second but you know what we have to do whatever the game tells us to do it's kind of weird because there's no like meter so i guess we'll just go ahead and take a turn at the i guess we'll go ahead and tell some jokes um oh my god we have to do this we have to accept every invitation. Okay, so we're pretty much done here. Like the meter didn't show up. We we entered, we took a photo with our mom. We hung out for like half an hour to an hour. And now we get this invitation from this guy saying, I've been thinking maybe opposites attract. This might be crazy, but let's go have dinner and see if things get spicy. We're like nine months pregnant, about to give birth. We just moved in with our baby daddy boyfriend situation, who is famous by the way. And we're gonna go out on a date. Okay, here we are with this guy. He is one of our enemies, just by the way. And we're going out on a date with him. I don't think so, boy. Like, we are not going to date you. That's for sure. Like, we're not doing that. Unless the... Wait, is there goals for this? No, there isn't. I feel like there usually is. Okay, really weird. Let's go ahead and go to the bathroom. Are these gendered? No, good. Okay. Let's just go to the bathroom. Your girl needs to pee. And your girl needs to eat. So you know what? It's probably not a too bad thing that we're here with him. We can just grab some food, go to the bathroom, and then go home and go to bed. Like, that's really what we're going to be doing, right? Why did we just get a negative reputation? I don't know. But yeah, we're going to tinkle, have something to eat, and then love him and leave him. Because we are not dating this guy, okay? We're just simply not. <gasps> like, everyone from Fight Club is here. Why does he not have a shirt on? Dude, did you Hulk rage and just rip your shirt off or what? Because why do we go in a different toilet to wash our hands? Are we serious, my dude? Okay, come on. Let's go request a table so we can just get out of here. This guy's like, yeah, I'm here with this cute girl. And we're like, no, we are not. We don't like you. Hopefully he doesn't find out that we are going out on a date with this guy because that would be super embarrassing. Oh my God, we're having to sit at this big, huge table because there's no smaller ones wow the lighting looks really good right now okay let's go ahead and let's spend big you know let's get a what can you drink let's get her an orange juice because she is pregnant but i guess he can go ahead and get a root beer float and then for dinner let's get something big because she is kind of hungry maybe she would like to go ahead and have a nice healthy grilled chicken with veg and he's gonna get the steak he is really just bleeding our pockets dry he's like yeah i'm out here on a date with you i can like order whatever i want <gasps> and our friend tane is here and he's like um giselle what are you doing here with this weirdo i thought you hated him and we're like we'll talk to you about it later maybe we're just trying to get close because um because we know that we want to go ahead and overthrow the club later. I'm not going to talk to him at all because I don't want our relationship to go up. Because we need to have those enemies, as you can see. We're just going to go ahead and finish our food and then head home. Because she's feeling quite full now. We do need to maybe eat a little bit more and then go to the bathroom. But we're just going to leave without finishing our grilled chicken. Wait, we need to pay. We need to pay. Oh my god, we have to go to the karaoke bar? Oh no. Okay, we left without paying the bill, so they charged us $40. Don't forget to pay next time. Sorry, but we had to skedaddle so fast. Our mom invited us out to karaoke. Can't you see that that is obviously more important? Let's sing a country duet with our mom, and then we need to head home and go to sleep, honey. Uh, actually, we have to stay here for five and a half hours, so I guess what we'll do is just pitch a tent or something. Cuties! Sorry, mom, but we're in the worst freaking mood ever. I can't believe you invited us out to karaoke at like midnight. Okay, let's place our shower so we can go ahead and take a shower in public, you guys. This is how you know you're desperate. Now let's pop down our tent, see if we can go ahead and have a nap in there. Also, just want to point out, she's about to give birth. Like, she is so freaking pregnant right now. 
Okay, we're back home. What a wild night. It looks like our boyfie is already up and at him, ready for the day. Like, he has just had a good sleep. He's done all this stuff. Yeah, he's in a good, good mood, okay? It's prank day. He doesn't have work today, but maybe he can go ahead and just work on his writing a little bit more. Let's get him to go ahead and continue his book. Meanwhile, we only just got home. So we're going to go to the toilet, have a shower, have a bite to eat, and then once we're done that, we're going to go to sleep because she's about to fall asleep. Do you guys remember in The Sims 2 where they would like fall asleep in their food? I really miss that because you could sort of like get their <laughs> get their sleep needs up while they were going ahead and eating. So it sort of worked well. Peach wants us to go to the flea market and out to lunch. I like physically can't do both at the same time. So let's just go to the flea market. I feel like we're getting invited out like an unusual amount of times like are we through? Okay, let's go to the bathroom before we wet ourselves again. And then we need to buy something. So maybe we could pretend that we're buying some stuff for the nursery. Like maybe, oh my God, do you see this? This like single file BS. Like what is this? Maybe there's like, okay, let's go buy this cool little robot lamp. She's really into like tech and stuff. So that could work. And what else could work for a nursery? Not really anything here. I can't even see like a comfortable nursing chair or anything like a lot of it is kind of too fancy or too trashy let's go ahead and work on our computer over here we're going to keep on making our video game oh <gasps> we've gone into labor oh my god tane don't be mad at us ah <gasps> we've gone into labor okay i'm gonna go ahead and say that we're allowed to leave early to give birth okay okay if this part wasn't already all over the place now we're at the hospital, ready to give birth. All right. <laughs> okay. Hey, we're here to give birth. Please let me in. Let's check in at the front desk. What people think about you matters. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, dude, we're literally giving birth. Can you cut us some freaking slack, okay? Oh, my goodness. Okay, let's watch her go ahead and give birth. Oh, my goodness. Tetsu is over here, like, freaking out. And he's pulling our heart out and stuff. How uncomfortable. I wonder what the baby is going to be. <gasps> this is going to be the final generation heir. <gasps> okay. Are you guys ready? Because I'm not ready. It's a baby boy. Okay. The final generation is blue. I'm going to go ahead and call him Billy. Cute. Congratulations, little Billy. You're the final heir. Okay. Giselle is going to come on over here and see her little baby boy for the very first time. Oh my goodness. Okay. I think this is all we're going to do for now. I'm just going to grab a quick little light in his room and then I think we are set to go. Oh, cute little baby. We're going to have to come in here and mop this up. And then of course, let's get her to come on here and jump straight on her computer to get back to making that video game. We cannot delay, not even for one freaking second because she does go to work tomorrow she needs to get her skills up and all that good stuff so let's mop this puddle and then go ahead and get him to take care of the baby so cute i love how you don't have to hire a nanny or a babysitter in this game it just like does it on its own <gasps> he reached parenting level one so cute here we are we're finally back home ready to go ahead and work oh look at these two little guys in their little study working side by side <gasps> She is a code monk. She reached level 10 of programming. Giselle can now hack supercomputers. Ooh, we finished one major aspect of this <laughs> challenge. I think what we need to do next is max video gaming and mixology. We created a new video game. Let's call it Billy. Oh, we're going to name it after him. Okay, we just became good friends with Billy, which is very, very good. Okay. She's going to go ahead and go to bed now. And I'm going to end this part here because she is rather, rather tired. But in the next part, we're going to go ahead and make sure she's ready for a promotion and go ahead and get that. Then we will work on our aspiration, maybe finish up that by trying to level up her video gaming and we might max that out. Who knows? Then we just need to go ahead and make sure we keep on calling our friends, being good friends with them. And we only have two more parts left of this, so in the final part, we'll be overthrowing the club leader to make our final enemy, and we'll be mastering our mixology skill. But this is where I am leaving this part. Until next time, I hope you have a very snazzy day, and I'll see you all soon. Bye, guys!